What's up, y'all? So today, I'm actually gonna recap and review uh, how I went from being able to barely hang on the rim to getting about halfway up my forearm uh, using the bounce kit dunk program and throwing down some good two-hand dunks as well. I used bounce kit by Jordan Kill Gannon. Um, kind of a little about me. I got a bachelor's of science from Texas A&M in sports conditioning. You know, I've always had a passion for progress ever since I was trying to improve for basketball and football in high school. You know, my, my coaches told me, you're small, you're slow, and you're white. <laughs> so from then on, I, you know, I didn't want to just accept that. And so I became obsessed with progressing for my sports, uh, basketball and football mostly. You know, I found what I wanted to do study and what I kind of wanted to go into. So I've been a personal trainer for about four years now. Uh, but really, right now, I kind of see myself as really my own lab rat. So I've kind of been trying a lot of different stuff, you know, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like. Um, usually just having a goal and going for it, trying to achieve it, usually achieving it because that's what we want to do, so we want to actually get it, and then moving on to the next. So I have more of a powerlifting background, uh, which I actually think helped me in this program. But I actually felt like I was losing my athleticism um, just doing straight heavy lifting all the time. So that's what, and you know, I wanted to be able to jump out the gym again. So. That's kind of why I decided to just get started on this program. But yeah, in the beginning, the first month, it really kind of went hand in hand uh, with my powerlifting background. Uh, it was a lot of heavy lifting, mostly legs, uh, which is something I was not used to. Um, so if you're thinking about getting on this, just be ready for just one upper body day a week, which was weird to me. I actually thought I was going to lose a lot more muscle than I did. I only lost about uh, one to one and a half pounds of muscle throughout the three months. Uh, and I actually lost a good 6% body fat which is something to take into consideration. You know, you're usually not gonna be able to gain five and a half inches on your vertical, which is what I did, uh, unless you lean down at least a little bit. You know, if, if you're staying the exact same weight and expecting extreme gains on your vertical in only three months, I mean, sure, over a long period of time, that might be possible, but only three months to gain about five, five and a half inches, you're probably gonna have to lose a little bit of body fat and lean down a little bit. First month, yeah, a lot of heavy lifting, kind of using an RPE scale, which is just reps to perceived exertion. So basically an RPE eight would mean you have two reps in the tank. An RPE nine, you you could only get one more rep if there was a gun to your head, basically. A lot of working up to a, a heavy last set of RPE nine or even 10 sometimes in that first month on leg movements, mostly squat and deadlift uh, and front squat some. Uh, and then just variations of deadlift and squat. Into the second month, it kind of tapers off a little bit uh, and you get more into explosive movements. Um, so you're, you're looking at more cleans. Uh, throughout the whole program though, lots of jumping. You have at least two days of just jumping and core work actually, a lot of core work um, throughout the whole program. Second month, it's tapering off in the heavy lifting. You're looking at more of uh, 50 to 60. 70 at the most percent of your one rep max um, for those heavy lifts. So quite a bit uh, lighter and less intense. Intensity just meaning um, percentage of your one rep max basically, how close you're working in that range and uh, getting a lot more explosive and just focusing on speed because really the reps don't change pretty much the same throughout. They might go come down a little bit, but you're actually going down in your intensity. So you just want to make sure you're doing as explosive of movements as you can. Into the third month, you, there's not much lifting actually. <clears throat> it's mostly jumping, the core work stays the same, that stays the same throughout the whole program, uh, but then a lot more plyometrics, uh, and then you're getting um, even lower, you know, sometimes even into the 40% of your one rep max on some of these lifts, uh, but it's mostly just the explosive lifts. Since you're coming down on that intensity, uh, you're feeling your central nervous system start to prime up. Um, you know, from those heavy lifts, when you're working really close to your one rep max, um, your central nervous system is being taxed quite a bit. Um, so that's something to take into consideration. As you kind of taper off in that intensity and you get lighter for your, you know, for you, and you start doing more explosive, more speed work, uh, you're not taxing your central nervous system as much. So you actually have more energy and you feel explosive and bouncy. Two weeks out from when I was planning on throwing down my best dunks, I actually gave Steven Chelly a call and he gave me a, a consultation. Uh, I'm really appreciative that he gave me some really sound advice. Uh, I was feeling like I wasn't primed like I wanted to be. And he gave me some advice on really priming my central nervous system, trusting that I wasn't gonna lose all my strength because I was kind of freaking out. At the end of this program, you know, you're not lifting much at all. I thought I was gonna lose all my muscle, lose all my strength and power. 
uh, but that was not the case at all. You know, I lost maybe one percent or one pound of muscle throughout the whole program while losing six percent body fat. Um, I actually felt really good even while cutting to still improve your energy um, while losing that much fat is pretty impressive to me. I attribute most of that to starting out so intense on lifts and tapering off and priming my central nervous system. That was a piece of advice was working a lot on my elasticity, which there were some in the basket program, but I, I even added more in after talking with him. So a lot of medicine ball work where you're working on that rebound effect. Think about, you know, in your jump, you have two movements. You have the eccentric phase and the concentric phase, just like any other lift that you're doing. But a jump is a skill, a skill in itself and you wanna work on both phases of that movement. So there's you know, the eccentric going down, there's that amortization phase, that in-between phase, and there's the concentric phase, you're jumping up. So you wanna work on all aspects of that. And really, I feel like I was mostly just working on the concentric phase until the last two weeks or so. Uh, and then I started adding in medicine ball work, working on that both eccentric phase uh, and the amortization phase coming out of that. Overall, you know, I, I felt Pretty satisfied with my progress, five and a half inches. It's about what I was expecting. I, I, I had the goal of throwing down some good two hand jumps and that's what I got. And I, I was pretty satisfied with where I was getting on my forearm from where I started. I'll probably cycle back around to a dunk program at some point. Some of the things that inspire me and what helped me kind of stick on one program, stay with it to a T. Uh, you know, one thing was I would go to my gym every day. I'd be jumping kind of looking like a crazy person just jumping over and over. Um, but kids would come up to me that are just playing basketball and stuff. How do you jump so high? You're not even that tall and stuff like that. Uh, also, the last two weeks of the program, uh, just a middle-aged guy that I kind of see frequently at the gym told me that he used to be able to dunk, you know, just barely back in his day. He asked me how old I was. I, I said I was 25. Uh, and he said, whatever you're, and he was really serious when he said this. He's like, whatever goals you want to achieve, achieve them in the next two years. Um, so that's kind of what I plan to do. Feeling super motivated, trying to keep the momentum going. Uh, I feel pretty good. So I hope you all are staying after it too. Cheers, guys.